Hello loves and welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hey, my name is Bree and this is Modern Living with Bree. If you're a returning family member, mwah, thank you so much for joining me again for another video today. Today I thought it would be fun to update my foyer today for the summer. It's been overcast for about three or four days now and this is the right time to film in the foyer. So I thought it would be fun to do a vlog slash... That's a pimple. Oh! Okay. <laughs> do a vlog slash a decorate with me so I can take you on the journey to update my foyer. So I'm going to turn around the camera and we're going to go ahead and get started. Oh, I had to do something about that. That doesn't look good on camera. <laughs> Now, most of you who've been with me a while are very familiar with this space. This is the foyer, and over here on the other side is the tablescape uh, that I shared with you guys on the video, I believe, uh, maybe a couple of weeks or so ago. But yes, um, another thing that I was thinking about doing, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do it or not. I'm not today anyway, but anyway, I wanted to paint these mirrors, the rim of them black. The problem is when I try to take the mirrors out, which would have been so much easier, uh, the mirrors are glued in. Now, they have these nice little clamps on the back, and I thought if I release those, the mirrors would come out, and that would make painting so much easier. But no, <laughs> and it, I mean, it's, it's good too, because I mean that the mirrors are secured in there, uh, but it makes it a, a problem when you try to change it. But um, that would be on another date. Now I'm gonna paint this rim black, but since I can't take the mirrors out, I'm gonna have to tape those up. And we have quite a few mirrors to do that. So that's gonna be another project during another time. This foyer, guys, the sun comes in and it, it gets dark at times. So there might be spots in the foyer where the camera will turn dark. I will try to fix it um, as best as I can when I edit, but it will happen. It will fade dark and then it fade back bright. Right now, today, it is overcast, so it might not be too bad as far as the sun and we will see what happens. Okay, everyone, we're going to go ahead and get started. This is a beautiful rug that I ordered from Overstock. It is a Greek key border rug on an off-white base. It is a gorgeous rug. I'm going to place it on a diagonal. I think this is the direction that I will be placing the furniture on the rug. And I'm not sure about this. This is a 4 by 6 rug, guys. And maybe I should have got a bigger one. Huh? Hmm, we'll see how this is going to work. So, these are the pieces of wall art that we're going to place on each side. Uh, what I have here are these command hooks. And they are Velcro that you put on the back of wall art to keep from punching the holes in your walls. This is what they look like. You see this Velcro and then they have the stickers on the back and basically what you do you just tear them apart. You use two and you fold it. You hear that? That's the Velcro and snap it together. Now you probably know this but just in case anybody this might be good information for someone who don't know and you just tape one side to the back of the frame and the other side will go against the wall. And I love these because, like I said, it keeps from punching holes in the wall. So this is what we're going to use.
Let's see. Yeah, I should have placed the furniture first before I placed the road. Okay, guys, let me show you what I've done. I was starting to get hot in here and get a little perspiring. <laughs> so I had to get a fan. I had to get off the camera because it was taking a bit too long to get this right. Uh, the furniture right on the rug. But I think I have it right now. So it, here's the rug. It's a beautiful Greek key rug. It's an off-white. And I uh, love the black trim um, around the rug with the Greek key design. So I love that. And the two benches here is the same color. It's like an off white or very soft white. And it looks very nice. I already put that pedestal there in the corner. Um, I give you guys a close up in a minute, but it was kind of awkward for me to try to do that on camera without removing all the furniture. And um, I had to see the furniture in place to see how to place the pedestal. So that's why we did that off camera. So we're going to go ahead and I am going to put all the decor up and then we'll give a tour. This beautiful vase. I got this from Home Goods. It was $34.99. It's by Mikasa. I think it was Home Goods. Yes, I think it was Home Goods. It's beautiful. And I thought the colors of tan and black and a little uh, off-white in here will do very nice, bring some texture in here. And I think I want to place this right on top of there. And then we have our pillows. These are some beautiful pillows. Let's see how I want to lay them. by 12 foot pedestal that I purchased from Amazon also and I believe they have one uh, just a little bit taller than this one that I think I end up getting and I thought this was perfect so we're starting with these benches guys these benches came from Amazon uh, I will put everything in the description box the prices and everything if you're interested guys but I love this bench it is very very gorgeous I purchased two of them and uh, there's exactly the like and their storage benches. They have storage at the seating part and it's a pretty um, decent size of storage. And I put all of my decor in there, the decor that I use on a daily basis. And then these gorgeous luxury pillows are so, so beautiful. I just love, love, love them. This large one here with the black velvet and the white piping, these came from Etsy, and the name of them is Joviana, I think it is. Uh, they're beautiful luxury pillows. I just loved it. And then I looked up on these beautiful pillows here with the white um, velvet and the black pipe piping and these lumbar pillows came from Amazon there were two for like $17 uh, one was white and one was black with the white piping just like this one and I just was so surprised that Amazon had it so like I said I'll put everything in the description description box if you're interested then we swing around here in this corner this pedestal is new um, this pedestal came from Amazon also. I love it. It's the beautiful lacquered surface. It's very light. It's not heavy, but it doesn't have a light on it. That's the only thing that I'm <laughs> missing from my old pedestal that had a light, but this one doesn't, but that's okay. I love the beautiful vase 
with the three rings on each side. I think that is so, so gorgeous. I purchased this from Home Goods and it was $34.99. A beautiful, beautiful vase. Love the texture, love the height, love the colors. It's just such a beautiful statue. Love it. And then the artwork also came from Amazon. I've had these for quite some time now. And it was three in a set. Not quite sure the price though. They are 24 by 36. So that's this side. As we swing over, that's the same art piece uh, that we just seen. Like I said, it came in a set of three. Love the 3D painting on it. It is simply gorgeous. Love the paintbrush style of it. It's beautiful. And then we come down to Mrs. Smith. She is an old friend of mine. She's been with me for quite some years. Uh, she came from Front Gate years, years, years ago. I can't even um, remember um, the cost on it, guys. And um, I know they don't have it anymore because I've been looking for it. I think someone had asked me um, what was the cost and I couldn't find it. But uh, this is Mrs. Smith, and I have a Mr. Smith, but Mrs. Smith is alone today, so she's just on her pedestal as a queen, standing there looking over her domain. Beautiful, beautiful statue. Love it. It's about, I say about, about three and a half feet tall. So the the um, accent rug came from either Wayfair or Overstock, guys. I believe it's a four by six. And I love the black key border, simply gorgeous. It, it really accent the benches. And that's what we have, guys. Not that much, but it really does a great job. It doesn't need that much here in this corner because it's such a small space. But um, this really fills it out beautifully. I love how it looks and how it turned out. Well, that would do it for me, loves. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you're new to the channel, hey, my name is Bree, and welcome to Model Living with Bree. If you like what you see, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I appreciate it. It helps me a lot. And also, click the notification bell twice so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. For all of my family members, mwah, thank you so much for being here today and joining me for this video. I will see you guys on the next one. Smooches!